All right, fellas. It is a freaking hot day out here in Texas. Now, when I say hot, it is not really that hot. It's about 82. But I was gonna work on my truck, but I was getting kind of lazy. So I know I haven't posted anything on my 89 in a while. Let's give you a little update of what I got going on. Uh, first of all, see the mess I got going on in the dining room and my wife is pretty mad. Uh, she wants me to get all this crap out of here. But it's all for my truck and I haven't worked on it. So one of the first things that I'm gonna do is put this Big 3 kit. Now, if you don't know what a Big 3 kit is, uh, Look on YouTube, you'll see plenty of them, and it's just basically upgrading the uh, the wires. Um, you got a thicker power wire, power from the battery to the uh, alternator. Man, this, this freaking cables are thick. And then you got another ground from the battery to the body. And then there's another uh, ground from the engine block to the chassis. There you go. Comes with uh, lugs. And it only comes crimped on one end and then you have to like run it and see how far you want. And then, you know, then you do the other end yourself. So there's three wires, that's why they call it the big three. It's supposed to improve your electrical system. We'll see, I don't know. I bought it because it looked impressive actually. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so if you saw my last video, I actually uh, committed a sin and took the, uh, the off-road lights, the rigid uh, driving lights off of my 89 and put them on my new uh, TRD uh, off-road Tacoma. So I bought some new ones. These aren't uh, They're not driving lights. They're just uh, I bought these because um, They're round and it really doesn't matter uh, Which way you mount them if you mount them this way if you mount them that way Whichever way the pattern is going to stay the same and if you saw my last video I have to take those off of my uh, my 89 because if you saw the pattern they're ovals and i had them mounted sideways on my 89 and the the light pattern was going up and down <laughs> it was stupid they're bright but they're not the way they were designed to be mounted so these they don't they don't matter as much and these are the uh uh d series pro actually i thought they i i had uh um bought the ordinary ones but this is what they shipped out to me from amazon so i am not complaining uh i actually got the flood pattern just for a little bit cheaper these are like 158 so not bad not bad uh one other thing I'm, i got i need to replace this it's the driver's side uh vent someone broke it there's like a little screw on on uh you can see it in my truck there somebody had screwed put a screw from here to here uh and it's really loose this is nice and tight the other one just jiggles around so i found this on ebay uh fits my car good shape everything works it was like 25 bucks or something so while i'm in there i'm gonna replace that and this thing right here i want to explain this this is a uh uh, this rear view mirror off an of SR5 Forerunner, like an 89 Forerunner or 90. But this will fit on my truck. And if you notice, it's taken apart. And if you notice right here, this right here, it's tan. Why is it tan? Because I spray painted it with doopy color. I'm saying it wrong probably. It's called uh, vinyl fabric, uh, vinyl and fabric spray. And this was just a test run because, see that, it looks pretty damn nice. And you can tell it was tan because look at my awesome paint job, my taping job there. That's where I ripped up the tape and I took the paint with me. I'll touch that up. But anyway, 
you can see there the texture. It's really good. I like it. Huh. So I like it. It's really good. Now, why I spray paint this black is because I'm turning my whole interior black. Uh, and if you ever looked at the videos, the uh, do uh, people spray paint their interior black. And I test run, did a little test run on this. This is pretty good. I think I just nicked it right there. But uh, I only have like two coats on here. Um, I'm spray painting stuff that I don't touch a lot, like this, uh, the headliner, the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the door panels. I'm going to spray paint those black. And I thought, you know, ooh, spray paint. But if you really actually look at this, it's, it's pretty nice. It actually came out pretty good. And a lot of people do it. Uh, like I said, a lot of stuff that I touch, I'm not going to do that. I bought new black candles because I have manual windows. So these are black. Uh, and I'll come over here. Come over here. I bought new black carpet. Yes, some people do spray their carpet. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. I bought, uh, let's see, what else is going in? I, I bought a new steering wheel. I'm not going to paint one. And pick my steering wheel. So I got a new NRG steering wheel. I can't wait to put that in. Uh, this is the uh, column or whatever they call it that goes to it. This, this goes on and then the steering wheel goes on. And this is, uh, I can get the optional quick release, but it, it kind of makes your steering wheel stick out even further, closer to you. So I don't know yet. And there's a lot of things you got to think about when you're changing your color. Now, I could have went to the junkyard and looked for years or months or whatever for seatbelts. But I found a company that makes seatbelts for your truck. And everything's the mechanism, the, uh, the belts, everything's brand new. This is just a bolt-in uh, replacement kit. And so I got it black. I could have got it the original color, which was blue. But, like I said, I'm stepping away from that. And we're going all black. And if you look here, seat brackets. Yes, I am getting rid of my blue bench seat. And I am replacing it with these guys right here. Let me turn the light on. They're Corbeau seats. I'm going from bench to bucket. Got some hardware there. These seats are really nice. Uh, they were about, I want to say five something for the set. Uh, they recline. They got reclining right there. You could have got these, uh, well, you could put some, uh, what do you call it? Seat belts, uh, the kind of strap you in, but I don't need that. Uh, you could have got these with lumbar support and heated, but I, I just needed reclining. That's all I really, really needed. I want it. Uh, the, the others would have been nice, but it would have jacked up the price to seven something. Then I would have had to wire it all up to heat it and all that. But these are really going to make my truck look really nice. And that, uh... That should complete everything. Once I turn everything black, these puppies are gonna look nice. And like I said, I had to go from bench to bucket, so I actually had to find new seat belts because these are actually made for bucket seats. Believe it or not, the bench seats ones, uh, they're, they're a little bit different and they bolt in a different location, all this crap. And I could have made it work, it would have looked kind of cheesy, but I went ahead and just bought that, and these weren't cheap. These were $300. But, you know, if you want to make it look nice, then just go the, just do it right the first time, you know? Um, 
What else do I have? Uh, I know I'm missing something. Uh, I guess one other thing is I need to find something to do with this. I used to have this on a Jeep, which, uh, uh this is a 10 inch bar. <laughs> this thing is stupid, crazy, bright. You know, it's what you expect from Rigid Industries. Now, I only like to run Rigid or KC um, lights. Uh, I've had all those eBay and uh, Amazon lights. They, they work, they're bright, but when you actually compare them and go face to face with Rigid or, or KC or or another like uh what's another one uh, i can't think right now but anyway if you actually go face to face compare them right next to each other which i've had uh, you see the difference right away i mean when you see the amazon and ebay ones yes they they impress you because they're bright and you know but once you put them next to a rigid industries man you'll see where your money went quick because you'll see a more focused uh beam pattern and the brightness is way better and the, the distance that you get out of them is stupid. Um, but that's why you're paying all that outrageous price. And, but if you don't care about that, then, you know, screw it. Get the, uh, get the eBay lights. I've, shit, I've ran those plenty of times and they worked and I could see, but, you know. These, I never worried about, uh, like, moisture getting behind there, stuff like that. I've had... I've had these, like that bar, I've had for a while, and then the driving lights on my truck, I've had for a long time. Never a problem. So I'm I'm not really worried about these guys. Uh, not to say it doesn't happen, but, you know, chances are low. Uh, let's see what else I got here. When I get everything done, I'm gonna top it all off. These are seatbelt things, very inexpensive. When I put the new seatbelts on, got the new seats, uh, put those on there. Make it look nice, you know, just little cheap, cheapy deals. Uh, what else I got? Oh, and just to go off topic real quick, uh, from my 89 to my 2018, I'm gonna try these tonight. I'm gonna make a video about these tonight. These are uh, LED headlights, like it says, and they're H11, they make them for, uh, well, not particularly just my car, but anything that takes H11. And uh, I'm, I'm really interested to see how these work. For some reason, the money that you pay for a, 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 a Tacoma, I have a, the, like I said, it's a used 2018 TRD off-road. Not the Pro, I got to step below that one. I wish I could get the Pro, but even used, psh, I couldn't afford it. Uh, but the money you pay, you think they would upgrade the lights. Maybe next year or something, but a lot of people switch out the lights. These have the the little fan in the back and all that. I'm a little bit, you know, iffy about all that because when you're going off-road, there's dirt and blah, 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 and how long they're going to last. But I don't see myself taking my new Tacoma uh, through too much shit because it is my daily driver, so I won't bang that around. Uh, I already have LED truck lights on my 89. So, like I said, new carpet. Let me focus. New carpet, new steering wheel, new seat brackets, new new seats, new seat belts, blah, blah. It's all going in. And I know I'm talking a lot and I need to get cracking, but like I said, I am lazy. Uh, and yes, just a little hungover. Um... Maybe this weekend I will I will get going on that. Anyway, just to let you know a quick update of uh, what's going on. And yes, it is coming. And once I get everything put in, oh, sorry guys, my wife called in the middle of uh, shooting this. Yep, like I was just saying real quick, I'm gonna um, once I install everything, I'm just gonna clean it all up. And then I'll take a really nice video and some pictures, all that good, all that good stuff. I think it's going to look really nice. Uh, so anyway, that's it. Let's, I just need to get cracking on it. So, uh, you know, keep, uh, keep looking for those videos. Thanks.